Hi, and welcome to another short course of how to interface with modern sensors via the C++ programming language. Now, what we're going to discuss here is going to be to an abstraction level. So you need to know object-oriented programming with C++, as well as uh, uh, understand inheritance and uh, interfaces in C++ and how to actually build an interface uh, in C++. So basically, speaking about sensors, our interface is going to be <clears throat> the sensor, right? And then within that interface, um, actually we have some uh, functionality such as we initialize the sensor, such as we get some data, such as we write some data back to the sensor or, or maybe write back uh, to uh, perhaps a database or sequential text file or anything else. And then actually uh, we do have some uh, functionalities, right, uh, that we, we actually get from sensors. And uh, in my case, I've taken the liberty to discuss a little bit about RFID sensors and what they do. So it's going to be on short. Uh, once we initialize the sensor, uh, we read uh, the process, we process the information, we write the information, and then also we proceed further with detection, with temperature measurement, with distance measurement, and uh, in order to get actually the final uh, information, for example. So all of this that I just mentioned will be the functionality of the RFID uh, sensor. So let's quickly actually try to build uh, the interface uh, for the RFID uh, sensor, sensor interface, interface, okay? And let's see how this uh, really is going to go. So all the, all right, so the, functions uh, within the sensor i'm going to declare them as virtual and then i will say uh, virtual void initialize the sensor right and then i will say equals to zero then i will introduce another virtual void which i will call the i will call uh, for example reading process process obviously sensors read and write data right so that's very simple simple as that and then uh, we need to process some of them they process the data virtual uh virtual void uh processing okay right and that does something right here so what i've done is really uh that does something so basically what I will do and what I can do at this point is let's do it like this way. Let's do it a little bit more explanatory and uh, avoid uh, the abstraction level to a maximum. So sensor initialized, okay? Sensor initialized. Then we have end of line. And then, okay, so I just want to better explain things a little bit later so that you understand uh, where all this is coming from, okay? Uh, so basically we have reading of information in process, okay? Right, so whatever the sensor does, right? And then we have said that information is being processed that could be also done under the reading process. So, but I've separated here, processing information, just for the sake to better understand uh, what I'm doing. And then there will be another virtual void, for example, oops, void uh, function, which I will call write information. Obviously we have to store information somewhere, right? Once we obtain it, Okay, formation saved, saved, okay, for future analyze, okay, all right, cheers, so this is done, all right, now, this is our interface, 
case. Okay, and this is what the uh, sensor does, right? I mean, obviously, there will be code right here. So I'm, I'm just speaking about the uh, abstraction level at this point. But this is what the, the processes are. And, uh, and then now, actually, um, this is going to be our interface. And then uh, since actually uh, the RFID sensor does something, what does it do? It, det it does detection, temperature measurement, for example, and distance measurement. So this is our functionality, right? So these are all classes. So we said it does detection, detection, right? And then it, it inherits from the RFID uh, interface we set. Okay, so this is our interface. And then it does something. So what does it do, really? Since it, it, uh, since it inherits actually from the uh, RFID sensor interface, what we can do is we can really override uh, for example, if we want to, we can override the initialize the reading processing processing and write information functions in case we want to. So the way we do it is virtual, for example, uh, virtual void initial initialize right override. Okay, and then that's the way we do it. Okay, and then. <clears throat> We do the overriding process right here, for example. Uh, override done. Okay. okay so done. Just making up things right here. But then at the same time, uh, for example, we can continue with the other functionality of the uh, of the 